makes your garden grow water and sunshine What makes your spirit grow knowing that she'll be mine All right guys um so I am on my way to my favorite Amish salvage store. I haven't been in like over a month, I think. Um, and since I'm back on keto, I did a clean out of my working pantry and I brought you guys along for that. And at that time, you know, I was determined that I was going to do the traditional uh, you know, traditional diet. I was going to do like Weston A. Price style, um, all good, wholesome, all natural foods. And so all of my keto friendly baking stuff that I had, I gave away. I gave it away. All of it. So about $60 worth of stuff that I gave away because I decided I wasn't going to do keto anymore. The goal is to hopefully replace some of the stuff that I gave away. Hopefully they have some Zevias, which I love, and then some sparkling waters. Um, so that is what I'm hoping to find. So any sort of keto-friendly baking pantry items and um, bottled or canned drinks is what I'm hoping to find. And then of course, you know, anything for the family that they would like. Yeah. All right, friends, I am back home. Uh, went to the salvage store, went to Aldi, and went to Walmart. I did find some things that I was hoping to find at the salvage store. Uh, some things I wasn't able to find there, so I got them elsewhere. So I ended up spending $233 today. I found several things that I stocked up for and they will last for months. Some other things um, I will probably have to replenish by next week and other things, uh, and other things will last, you know, a couple of weeks or so. Um, all right, so I'm gonna turn you around and show you what I got. Okay, so we're gonna start down here with the salvage store stuff. And I know that I normally put the um, prices where you would find these at a retail store, I, but I'm afraid I can't do that today. So um, anyway, we'll start down here. Um, they had some, hello, they had some cans of tomato paste for 39 cents. These, um, best, the best buy date is 2024. And that is an excellent price for tomato paste, so I got six of those. I got two cans of Italian peeled tomatoes. Back here, um, they had some Pantene uh, Maximum Hold Hairspray for $2.49. If you buy this, you know that it usually will run you between five and seven dollars, depending on where you buy it. Um, got some dry shampoo. This was $2.99 for a good size can. I do like the Dove product, so I was happy to find that. Um, this consomme is kind of like bullion, but the difference is this has a thickening agent in it. Um, and so I honestly did not realize that. I was hoping, I have bought this before and used it as a bullion, but did not realize that this has cornstarch in it to use as a thickening. So, um, I will just probably put this in emergency, my emergency storage, um, and not use it the way I was hoping to. But it was $1.19, I got three of them. I got two cans of chipotle peppers and adobo sauce. This is really great with chicken. I got two packages of angel hair pasta. This is a pound and it was 99 cents each. Under here we have some Cliff Bars. My daughter likes these, $7.99 for a pack of 12. This is the chocolate brownie flavor. And look, y'all, they had organic coconut flour, $1.99. I got two of them. And then they had some Bob's Red Mill Super Fine Flour marked down to $1.89. This is just past the Best Buy date. Um, but I did, it, it doesn't bother me, though. I, it's going to be completely fine. Um, anyway, so I got two of those. This coffee is super delicious. It's $3.99 for 12 ounces, and this tastes just like the Starbucks Pike's Place, which is my favorite uh, coffee. And um, anyway, so $3.99, fantastic deal. I got four of those. 
They had some Red Hot Max for 59 cents, and they had some salt and vinegar also for 59 cents. And they had these Coco Roos for 99 cents. I just got one pack. Top Ramen, a six pack for 99 cents. I got two of them. Um, they had some Alfredo sauce. This is low in carbs. It was $1.29. I grabbed it. And this sounded super good. Jalapeno spread with peppers, onions, and spices. And I don't know, it just sounded super good. Uh, they had their Ditalini pasta for 69 cents. So I got two boxes. They had some Annie's um, Organic Bunny Grams for 99 cents. I got two boxes. They had one pound boxes of granulated sugar for 89 cents, and that is a really good deal. The four pound bag of sugar at Aldi is now over $2. It's like two twelve or something. So um, these are two pound boxes. So I came out good on that. I got four boxes. And that is everything that I got at the salvage store. I spent $62.22. So the Aldi haul goes all the way back. Um, so here we have some bread. We have bagels. I got some real bacon bits, two bags of tortilla chips, and a bag of pork rinds. I got these again, um, the shells and cheese. I got four cans of the diced tomatoes with green chilies. <clears throat> I got two cans of diced tomatoes. <clears throat> I got four cans of tomato soup. I got one container of beef bouillon. Their bougie tuna is still 95 cents and the less bougie, the regular tuna is still $1.21, I think. Uh, so I got four cans of Skipjack. I've got um, some peanut butter for our emergency storage. And I got some dry peanuts with sea salt. Got some bacon. Um, they had their, they had chicken leg quarters. This is a 10 pound bag. It was 4 nine, 49 cents a pound, making it 4.90. Uh, a bunch of bananas. We got some, um, original uh, almond milk. We got some cow's milk. We got some um, vanilla yogurt. Uh, we got, okay, so this is the first time that I bought this. It has strawberries, pineapple, mangoes, and peaches. I thought the kids would like that for the smoothies. Um, okay, I got some mini bell peppers and some green bell peppers. Some baby Bella mushrooms. This time I got two cartons of strawberries. They were $2.49 each. Um, these tomatoes were $2.90 and they were only one cent more than just the regular red tomatoes. And even though I hate buying store-bought tomatoes, I've just been wanting some, so I got them. Um, I got the uh, mini cucumbers. I got some more deli meat. We've already eaten up our squash, so I got more squash. I got another head of uh, cabbage. It's 80 cents a pound now. Um, we've already eaten up our cauliflower, so I got another head of cauliflower. I got two packages of deli sliced cheese for sandwiches or whatever. I got more of these bite-sized dry salamis. Those are so good. Their butter was on sale for $1.97 a pound. I got four. Um, I got the regular French vanilla creamer and the sugar-free French vanilla creamer. Uh, I got three blocks of sharp cheddar cheese and four blocks of cream cheese and another carton of heavy whipping cream. That's everything that I bought at Aldi and it was $113, I think. All right, this next little bit is from Walmart. So uh, like I mentioned to y'all in the car, I got rid of all of my keto stuff. So I'm now having to replenish. Um, I bought a package of granular swerve and a package of brown sugar swerve. Um, I got some keto pancake mix. I do like the birch benders. It has a really great flavor and I like it better than the homemade keto friendly pancakes. Um, so I just went ahead and got that for myself. I got me a Lily's chocolate bar. This looks really good and I will save this for when I'm craving chocolate. Aldi was completely out of pepperoni, so I got a package of pepperoni. 
Um, we really do love these chips. Not only are they organic, but they're really thin and crispy and delicious. So even though I bought two packs uh, or two bags at Aldi, I went ahead and got two of these. For myself, I got three containers of the Two Good Vanilla Yogurts. Those have two carbs per serving. Um, I got a container of ranch dip and a container of French onion dip. And that is to go with all the vegetables I bought. Aldi has been out of dill pickles for forever. Um, so I got this jar of baby holes and this jar of the stackers, which is, you know, like sandwich cut. And then Naked Juice, um, I'm getting ready to do a second ferment on some kombucha. And that is what we like to flavor our kombucha with. So um, that was about, actually, here we go. Okay, so, oh, and I also got a drink, too, to have in the car, and that was $57 just for that little bit. All right, guys, here is the menu for the week. One night, we will have a pizza night, and of course, for myself, I will make a fathead crust. Um, I still have the roasted chicken. I still have a whole chicken in my refrigerator that needs to be roasted, and that's actually going to go in the crock pot tonight. Um, another night we will do steak fajitas. I have skirt steak down uh, in our freezer that I need to bring up to thaw out. We will do meatloaf, mashed potatoes, and green beans. Of course, I'll just have the green beans. And another night we'll do chili. Hope you guys enjoyed this grocery haul. Um, until next time, remember to be vigilant, be prayerful, and be prepared. And we'll catch you in the next one. God bless. Bye, guys.